Hello my dear little friends. Let us now discuss a very common question related to fractions where you are given a figure and then you are asked to find out the fraction of that figure which is shaded or unshaded. Let me read the question first. The question reads what fraction of the rectangle is shaded. For such type of question please pay attention what is being asked whether it is asked fraction of the figure or the rectangle shaded or unshaded. This is very important to note down because many students when it is asked unshaded they really find out the portion shaded and answer likewise. So please pay attention while reading the question whether the question asked is related to shaded or unshaded. Here in our question it is asked what fraction of the rectangle is shaded. So you see the rectangle consists of small squares. You see the rectangle is divided into grids of small squares and its sum of its portion is shaded. Many students may find it difficult at attempting such questions. So for such type of question uh, the very first thing I suggest is to consider a square, a small square consisting of two parts. This is part 1, this is part 1 and this is part 2. For example, if I ask you, please listen to this lecture carefully to understand what I mean to say. Suppose this is a square and your this portion is shaded. This portion is shaded. Then if I ask you what fraction of this particular square is shaded, then your answer should be total number of portion is, total number of units is 1, 2. So total number of units in the denominator, we write total units, units and as because it is asked units shaded, fraction of units shaded. So the numerator we will write units shaded. So unit shaded is only one portion. I hope you have understood this thing. The fraction of this particular small unit of square shaded is 1 by 2. And now let us proceed to our question. You see our figure consists of how many rows? 1, 2 and 3 rows and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 columns. So there are 5 columns and 3 rows. First of all, let us consider this particular column, the first column. So when we consider first column, we will see, please observe carefully what I mean to say. This is the first column. It is then further broken down into three squares and this portion is half of this is shaded. Half of these three squares is shaded. So what I have told for such question, first of all consider uh, one single unit into two subunits. So now if you redraw this column, okay, you see that half of this particular whole portion is shaded. Let me divide each of this portion into small subunits. Now half of this column is shaded. It means if I shade this portion, if I shade this portion, if I shade this portion. So I think and we can see that these two are equal, equally shaded because here it's half of the portion is shaded and here also half of the portion is shaded. So how many total subunits are there in the figure? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So out of 6 units or subunits, how many portions are shaded? 1, 2, 3. So 3 by 6 portions are shaded for the first column. So you can see that ultimately this 3 by 6 is equal to, if we cancel this out, 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6 equals to 1 by 2. So what do we see? 1 by 2 portion of this particular portion is shaded. But the thing is that we have to find out what fraction of the whole rectangle is shaded. So for the time being, we will we will consider writing 3 by 6 instead of 1 by 2. So as because 3 by 6 is also equal to 1 by 2. So instead of writing this, we will write this. So 3 portion is shaded out of total 6 portion. Total number of portion is 6 and shaded portion is 3 for this first 
column. Now coming to the second column, let us see what portion is shaded. Again, considering each of the square to be broken down into two units. This is unit 1, this is unit 2. So, this unit is shaded 1 as because this is two parts. So, this is 1, 2, 3. Again, considering this to be of two units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 5 portion shaded out of again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Total 6 portion, 5 portion shaded. Total, so out of 6 units, 5 units are shaded. Coming to the third column, I hope you are understanding. Coming to the third column, again considering to be consisting of triangular units, each of the square consisting of triangular units. So again here we can see there are 6 units in this column and out of that how many are shaded? 1, 2 and 3. So 3 portions are shaded. Now again here you see, here you see when you come to this 1, 2, 3, 4th column, this 4th column I am talking about, you can see that the shaded portion is like this. Now as because this is not perfectly not perfectly breaking this whole square into two equal parts it is very difficult to find out how much portion this is shaded look at this square look at this particular square here we can perfectly say that one portion out of these two portion this one portion is shaded one portion is shaded out of these two portion but here we cannot say so what we will do for such we can see perfectly that if you consider this as one unit then you can see that out of these two squares half half is shaded let me draw redraw this figure over here if i draw this and my then if i shade this we can say that how many total subunits each square is consisting of two here you can see two so there are total how many units in the square in this figure how many total units are there this one this is shaded and this portion is shaded so you can see these two figures are again equal as we have discussed for this half of this total two squares are shaded half of these two total square is shaded here also we can see half of these two total squares is shaded so out of one two three four out of four units two units are shaded i hope you understood again this two by four is equivalent to one by two so you can see half of this portion Two square is shaded that is 1 by 2 shaded which is again equivalent to saying 2 out of 4 portion shaded so for this particular area for, for this particular portion we can say that total number of total number of units is 4 and shaded unit is 2 total shaded units 2 out of 4 similarly considering this particular portion we can see we can say out of total how many portions there are total four portions one two three and four out of four portions how many are shaded so total four portions are there and shaded portion is also four now consider this particular portion this is the only remaining part over here again here you can write down shaded portion is zero and total portion how many one two three and four total is four actually we have counted the total number of shaded units and also the total number of units so let us count the total number of units first six plus six twelve twelve plus six eighteen eighteen plus four twenty two 22 plus 4 26 26 plus 4 30 so we can write down over here let me rub a little bit so total units means total triangular units like this is equal to 30 and total shaded portion or shaded units is equal to let us count total shaded units 3 3 plus 5 8 8 plus 3 11 11 plus 4 15 
15 plus 2 17 17 plus 0 so the total number of shaded portion is equal to 3 plus 5 8 8 plus 3 11 11 plus 4 15 15 plus 2 17 17 plus 0 is 17 so the total shaded units is 17 and let us also figure out total unshaded units sometimes you may be asked total unshaded units this will be equal to 30 minus 17 because total units is 30 total unshaded total shaded units is 17 the total unshaded unit will be 30 minus 17 which is equal to 13 so the fraction shaded is equal to total shaded units which is 17 by total units which is equal to 30 and fraction unshaded will be equal to total unshaded units is 13 and total shaded un total units is equal to 30. The question asked is what fraction of the rectangle is shaded? So our answer will be 17 by 30 or option B. So such type of question may seems to be very difficult for untrained students but for trained students they can figure these out very fast they can they have to do this column wise they have to go row wise and they can easily figure out the total number of shaded to and unshaded units and the total number of units it is always suggested to consider breaking down a small square to two units which will help you to infer the total number of units shaded or unshaded keep practicing such questions thank you